time is back with another Linsense video. Today we have a fragrance from Ard L. Zafrin. But before we get into that, just want to say thank you guys again. It is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices, whether it's that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV, whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, or an automobile. Maybe you're watching me on a boat of some sort. Maybe you're watching me in the back of a horse. I don't know where you're watching me. I don't know how you're watching me, but it is an honor. And if you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Likes are very, very important. Now, some of you may or may not know the reason for a little bit of delay on the fragrance videos is I've been trying to get into the food review game, if you will. Um, I'll leave the description down below, but I've been trying to get into the food review game because, I mean, honestly, who doesn't like to eat? Whether you're eating the, uh, something that you just made, maybe you're eating a snack, maybe you're drinking some water. We do drinking, we do eating over at that channel, so go check that one out. I'll leave that description down below. Doing all things food. Now we got about like four reviews up so far. Hopefully we can get more up and running, but, you know can't do it unless you guys are subscribed unless you guys continue to share that as well you guys help me out a lot by sharing this channel and hopefully you guys do the same over there but anyways let's finally get into this fragrance such a gorgeous day here in wisconsin it is almost november and it's about 65 degrees today sunny no clouds beautiful colors when the leaves are still on the tree beautiful colors orange pink all this type of stuff and I'm hoping we have a beautiful fragrance to match this beautiful day. So, let's get into it. Again, R.L. Zafran, this one is called Gaia. Now, I'm not sure if it's Gaia is the name of the fragrance. Like, you know how Latafa has all these different brands. I'm not sure if R.L. Zafran is the, the name of the, the whole brand. But then this is like a, a sister brand, Gaia, or um, this Be A Legend. Okay, so I'm not sure if does Gaia mean Be A Legend or I don't know. What, what does this stuff mean? So... Uh, who knows, but anyways, down there we do have some badge code stuff. Now, again, a lot of these fragrances, especially Ardell Zaffron, there's not too much hype on Ardell Zaffron fragrances besides the ones I've hyped up enough. Uh, and a lot of these fragrances, you buy them, they're kind of, eh, that's, that bottle looks cool, kind of cool. And I think this was one of those bottles that looks pretty cool. And I was like, hey, throw it in the cart, throw it in the cart, throw it in the bag, throw it in the box and ship it my way. And uh, so this was one of those fragrances that I decided, hey, let's just, you know, take a take a hit on it. Let's see if it's uh, anything good. Now, this box is pretty unique, too. On the side, it feels like a tree. Almost has, like, this tree texture. Has this tree texture right here. And then kind of like this gold, cool little design uh, wrap right around, okay? Um, the box feels nice. Kind of has this kind of soft, rubbery feel. But overall, take a look at that box up at the top. We got some wood too. So I'm assuming this fragrance is gonna have like a lot of wood, woody notes, maybe some oud. Who knows? But open that up. And now the wifey actually has the white bottle of this. Maybe we'll do a side by side with the wifeys as well. But take a look at that bottle. That bottle looks so sick, doesn't it? Look at that. Almost kind of reminds you, uh, just so in a different kind of way, but. Uh, rave now from Latafa. If you kind of think about that, there's a bottle on the inside, but then you got all this textured designs on the outside of the bottle. Looks pretty damn cool. Let's see what that cap is like. Uh, it's pretty, it's kind of, you know, right in between, but I like how they kept everything is Semitic. Like the, uh, I'm not even sure if I said that word right, but all square. Okay, the cap is all square as well. It's not like some brown uh, cap and then you put it on this thing all looks the same okay nice gorgeous bottle but there's this that guy right here and then up at the top we do have that art al zafran label that nice gold plate nothing at the bottom so here we go let's get into this man i like the way this feels like the the, the bottle kind of gives you these little uh little finger uh little, little spots for your fingers to hold it real nice nice grippy okay nice grippers look at that cool like gold Atomizer, thank God I am not butt naked because you guys might be able to see me in that glass. But I do got clothes on. See, you guys can see black shirt, naked down low though. Anyways, let's go here. Okay, let 
and see if this is one of those fragrances that catches me off guard or Ooh. Okay, it's kind of got this um it's kind of got this citrusy almost um piney smell this man it's kind of it's kind of piney maybe there's some myrrh in here it has like this sweet spice maybe some cardamom in, as well in here nice bright citrus maybe some grapefruit maybe some bergamot combined maybe got this little bit of this resinous uh note in here i'm not sure what it is okay it, i'm not sure if there's any resins in here uh but it's kind of almost like this slightly sweet almost like if you've ever smelt uh dates like a bag of dates it's kind of got that syrupy sweet smell to it it's kind of grapey almost i'm not saying this is grapey but uh, what the hell is that so this kind of reminds me of like a like a rich Santal fragrance, but you give it some more sweetness instead of that freshness that you get from like Santal 33. This is kind of what it reminds me of. You got that same notes, that myrrh, that kind of piney, that kind of earthy smell, but then you give it this nice sweetness. This slight, just this slight bit of resinous um, smell in here. Again, kind of almost like uh, smelling a bag of dates, prunes, if you will. Nice little bit of citrus right there, too, at the top. It's kind of got this woody smell, kind of like almost this creamy sandalwood smell. Man, but you know what? I'm kind of liking that. Again, it's kind of almost like a Santal 33 from Le Labo or even the Paris Corners edition, the rich Santal, and then you... Instead of that fresh, piney smell, this one you get like a sweet, earthy, spicy smell with that that myrrh, that uh, that piney smell, that santal, that rich uh, palo santal, that smell. It's like kind of like a nice woody smell. And then you got a little bit of this kind of uh, creamy sandalwood smell underneath all that and a little bit of citrus right up at the top. So... Again, the citrus isn't like too dominant. You're not gonna think, oh my God, you smell it. And it's like, oh my God, it smells like lime. You're not gonna get that, but you are gonna get whiffs of some citrus, okay? Some citrus, piney, maybe some myrrh. It's kind of got that earthy smell and just a slight, slight bit of sweetness. Again, kind of smells a little bit like dates or prunes, however you wanna call it, wherever you're from. But again, this one is pretty dang good. Now. The only problem I'm seeing with this one, and maybe it, it could just be me, maybe we'll spray it again later. This seems like it could be one of the worst performing R to L Zephyr fragrances. I'm gonna spray it again. It wasn't super loud, it wasn't beasty, like you know, like uh, how mythical is and waffle, if you will. It's not like loud, it's not obnoxious, okay? It's uh, more of a this will probably be one of those fragrances that doesn't have a huge scent bubble but will probably leave a trail something that you'll still whiff throughout the day but it just won't blow everyone away it won't catch everyone off guard it won't get everyone's attention if you will but this just seems like i'm gonna spray one more but it doesn't seem like this one has that oomph that i'm used to with art l zaffron fragrances now again i'm not sure if gaia is like the brand name or something like that or if Gaia means I am legend or be a legend or whatever the hell this is. It's not Will Smith right here. Okay, this is a legend. But I don't know if it's a I am legend. Okay, but again, not as loud. It's loud when you first spray it. But it's it, it doesn't just kind of just it doesn't keep pumping. This one doesn't seem like it keeps pumping like mythical. Like mythical you smell once and you go away from it. But you still just kind of smell it. Even though you're not moving or anything, you can kind of just still get glimpses of that beautiful scent again beautiful scent again kind of piney earthy kind of slightly spicy little bit sweet some citrus up at the top kind of woody and earthy but again i just don't 
I just don't know about the longevity and performance on this fragrance just yet. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. This one you can probably wear for a nice date night or something like that. Nice, you know, just lounging around, going out, uh, maybe just bar hopping. Who knows? Especially in this type of weather, this fall weather that we're getting. You're going to smell kind of sweet. You're going to kind of smell a little bit seductive. You're going to smell woody and stuff like that. You're going to smell earthy, which is very nice. You're going to have that slight bit of citrus. And there you go. You can wear this at night. You can wear this in the cool weather. This, To me, it screams wear me in the cooler weather, okay? Now, again, if you go into an office that is pretty much uh, air-conditioned and, and controlled by the, the climate, whoever picks the, the climate on the inside, if it's cool in there, you can wear it to work, okay? So, um, with that being said, go check this one out, okay? This is a Gaia from R.L. Zaffron. Again, I am legend. You're a legend. He's a legend. We're all legends. So with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. And if you guys did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah.